Pino Black here folks and basically a new split camera. Uh, I don't know how long it's been split. Maybe somebody's been watching but check this out. We'll give you more than one sun and one, more than one. Yep. So. And they're very honest on this footage here ladies and gentlemen. One fore and one aft. They kind of like bleeding the truth themselves there. So. And I'm sorry, I actually bumped it to repeat it again there. But anyway, you can watch the clock and just go on the speed that they have. And then basically you can stop and freeze this footage. And, and I'll give the web link to this. And you can go back and uh, you can see what direction the ship, they list what direction the ship was going and so forth and so on. And you can see way more than one sun. All you got to do is watch the clock. You can't miss the clock. Upper right. Upper right clock right there, and then that'll play. I'll just play the first little bit here. And you can tell that it's not dubbed. There you go. Okay, and I'll play that one more time for you. We can just back it up real fast. And there's one. There's two. And as you see, you can always see the super giants in the back. because you can see the sun and the super giants all those suns on the backside basically the horizon line watch the horizon line okay and as you see as we go through there's a lot of them. super giants and the suns and yes I'm not playing any tricks on you and you can watch the floor of the ship so you know it's not repetitive because the helicopter and the humans doing their work, their tasks for the day, or whatever, 24-7 probably. Okay, so let me just let it play. And basically you can go back, so I'm going to, uh, you know, I let it play th th at the beginning. So there's one, and then you got super giants in the background, and there's two, and you got super giants in the background. So. And your eyes are not fooling with you. Here comes one, son. Here comes another sun. So, and basically, a sun is a star. There goes a star. There goes a star. And I'm not playing with you. Watch the clocks. I'm not playing with it. I never dub, never mess with any video that I get. There's one. There's two. And there'll be more. Just watch it. And I basically, I'll let it play. And then I will just whatever time we got left, if we got anything else. And basically, you'll see the clock doesn't get messed with at all. And they're not going to play with their clock. So, like I say, I'll put the link, and then there'll be, if you study the link, that there is uh, ways to be able to see what time and everything like that. Now, when it's dark out, there is a spotlight on the front and the back of the ship. That's how they navigate through ice and between the islands, coastlines, lighthouse to light, light to lighthouse. So anyway, let this play through. There it played through. And I believe that's the ship we were on right there. And there's your link right up there. And I'll see if that if that helps out. I'm not sure when I do that or not. So, and the krill cam was kind of cool. The fish were looking pretty cool. There was like three of them there today. Good specimens today. And then we get crisscross action right now at Mawson Station. There's that. And then you got to be watch the beginning, okay? Pay note that the sun and the super giants are right here along the horizon line. 
there, right? Going that way, and then this thing comes that way. See the crisscross action? Okay, I'm going to play it one more time, and you can back this up. Always watch me on full screen. Now, here's the sun in the super, or at least one of the suns. Okay, there it goes. But now, I'm going to back it up again. Okay? Back it up. Now, you can watch the player down here. Now, watch the one of the suns in the super giants, or more than one, is going to go that way. You see that? It went that way, and then that one goes that way. So, they do their orbits up there in the Super Giants main sequence, and there you're going to see that went right, right? And then that comes in, and your eyes are not fooling you. Whatever sun in the Super Giant or suns in the Super Giants are going to go that way, you see? And then this comes that way, crisscross. And basically, it's light, just like having a couple spotlights. Bazillions of miles out there in space, and it's the Super Giant suns. And your eyes are not fooling you. And I'll play it all the way through so you see all the video. I'm not hiding anything. I haven't even watched the rest of it. It's just it's amazing because it's right here in front of your eyes. Now, I believe that's possibly the moon that went by or more other planets. It doesn't really matter. I'm not worried about that. It's not even, but it's just the idea, the, the blatant fact, the idea that you will see suns of the supergiants or our sun, but then we have the other sun go the other direction. Now, watch. That way and then this way. You see? So there's just a bunch of spotlights out there in the supergiants main sequence, ladies and gentlemen. And basically, I don't think there's really thing, anything here. At nighttime, you got all the photo eyes. And there you go. There's another sun that goes by, or the moon, or whatever. And I ain't paying attention. You can go ahead and research the times and stuff like that. Uh, but there you've got that coming across the sky. Hopefully freeze it. There you go. You should have been able to see it. Upper left corner. Maybe I'll get lucky here and freeze it this time. And there you go. It's up underneath the Antarctic lettering. And uh, they've got... 107 p.m. I think down there time or UTC Zulu time. You can go to the same link and it's the Moss and Station camera. So basically there's another sun for you, another star. And I think I can trap it. There you go. You get a little bit better of a shot of it. And yes, it's a light beam, ladies and gentlemen. There's more than one sun. And yes, we do get 3D effect from sun suns. And the sun is up there in the main sequence with some other bright stars and suns, okay? And we track the sun that we have always known to be our sun here on Earth. And yes, there may have been three to four suns in the Milky Way galaxy, not just one. Three for damn sure. And I believe pretty much affirmative four. But the people that knew about that have passed on. But there's no secret because basically tons of people know about this. The sun and the supergiants. Because as you see, this is going to go right. I just stopped it. There's some suns from the supergiants going to the right. And as you see, this one's coming up and going to go to your left. And there you go. So play with that video as much as you want. Here it goes. It'll go to fruition so you know that I haven't been playing with anything. And you'll end up seeing the same one that we froze a few minutes ago. That was at the 1 o'clock hour. Was it the 1 a.m.? Yes, it was 1 a.m. hour. All right, so more. And basically that was the Mawson's webcam right there. Same address, but at the Mawson station at the ending on the link. Okay, so we'll take a look at, I don't think there was really anything at Davis or Casey because Casey had, so I'm going to go to Davis again. Actually, I screwed up. I should have went to Quarry Island, see if we can see anything there. I'll hit this real fast. I haven't even watched this. We'll see if we get anything here at all that's even worth looking at. I'll put it on full screen since we're still recording. And I'm pretty sure that's a light man-made right here to the right. Let's see if we get any shadows on the building. And also watch the horizon, the sun, and the super giants. Okay, so I don't know if we even saw. I didn't see nothing on the side of the buildings there, but we have seen it in the past. And we've known that there's not been any legs to it, just like there was no legs to the dark shadow down at uh, Nehemiah either. So they want to keep our heads out of space. You don't want you to know anything about going on in space. Remember, we can travel light speed out there in space. It's just making sure that you don't run into anything. So there's really nothing there at that webcam. I'm going to take a look at uh, Macquarie Island, see what's going on. If we've got any walruses hanging out. Now, if you've ever been here to the Mac Macquarie uh, station before, if you've never seen a helicopter flying around before, and a duh, they're going to use helicopters for flying around there, and they probably do all the time.
But the number one thing is you have this object here that's not the helicopter, and you can zoom in on it. You can take a picture and zoom in on it. And also, I'm going to try to catch the helicopter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to show you that the factual that the helicopter was no longer in this shot. And the helicopter, they probably do use it all the time, but you will also, there, and there's the helicopter. Okay, but now that spot that I froze earlier was not a helicopter, and this is also, and I think you might have seen that spot. And I'll be able to freeze what is also not the helicopter. No matter what you do, that's not a helicopter, okay? No matter what you do, that's not a helicopter. Now, that's dark light, and I've proven before, and I do have the factuality on that. And the uh, I think the scientists at Neumeyer Station, the German ones, they know what I know also. Either way, I've found and know what I have that actually is a thousand percent, any percent infinite, that basically we are getting di dark light propagation, and I know what it's from. It is from the sun and the supergiants, and it, it is black objects because it ends up being... Uh, basically a puppet show from uh, the sun and the supergiants. So this is one of the objects, and it's not a helicopter, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And also I'll freeze it again here and again and get this over. And remember my footage before on a cloudy day, I had it over here above the bay. Uh, the helicopter is just doing its thing. Don't let it throw you off. Now I also freeze this here, and that is not a helicopter. Okay. It's not the helicopter. Now, I should still be recording, and yes, we are, and that's basically, uh, the only thing I can get down to this, this is one of those magneticals that you will see in front of the sun imaging, and I am not positive, but it should be, because at 5, 10 p.m., that should be what we consider our sun, okay, or whatever other supergiant sun is in front of the sun at that time, and that's one of those magnetics that you end up seeing on that reading and that's why I tell the guy from the two-minute news basically that stuff is up there that you are seeing it's not false data and ie for your own eyes you can see it at the South Pole Macquarie Island station because that's not a flipping helicopter right there folks and you can see it too that that's not a helicopter you can blow that up all you want Let's see if I can freeze it some more and it's gone so and you can watch the clock and you'll know that that's not a helicopter now you, you know the helicopters there okay that helicopter but the rest of this stuff is not a helicopter. The other objects I showed you, and there it just went. So we'll try to freeze it again so you know I'm not playing with you. And it almost looks like they embed something that looks like the helicopter. And as you can see there, that's not the helicopter, okay? That's not the helicopter. And it looked like they embedded earlier, or the idea maybe the helicopter was flying over there. But see, that wasn't the helicopter. That was our object once again, and hopefully I can freeze it again. There you go, and you've seen it from there to there, but it wasn't a helicopter. There you go, and that's not a helicopter. Okay, remnants, yes, okay, from the sun and the supergiants, and they are hologramming down to Earth. Okay, it's that simple. Okay, and I have exact matches from magnetics from Sun, Soho to Nehemiah Station earlier this year and late last year. It's a thousand percent factual actual data. That is not a flipping helicopter. Okay? And it's gone. And just before that I can wait it till it gets to five something. And there you go, there it was. So, there, you've seen it again. So, 